Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here on this Thursday morning, December 25th, and Christmas is right around the corner. I know about most of y'all like me, you have not quite finished all your Christmas shopping, but we're going to take care of that next couple of days, hopefully. Our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at 767-5500. Run by talk to Principal Mike Heppenstall or any of the staff there. Be glad to help you in any of your future educational endeavors. Temperature is really mild this morning. Next couple of days, it's going to be, it may even set a record high today. It's going to get on up to about 76 today. The record is like 78, I believe. Temperature right now is 54 here, 49 in Mariana, 59 in Apalachicola, and 57 over at Grayton Beach. The boating forecast uh, winds out of southeast at 7 to 14 knot, knots. You know, we talked about it was in the north and northeast and east, and it worked its way slowly around to the southeast. Still blowing, sea's going to be at 2 to 4. Low tonight will be on a 55, and water temperature is right around 60 degrees. Take a look at our tide chart. Carl Vernon Marine Specialties. He takes care of your sea walls or, or docks or, or any kind of boat lifts that you may want. That'd be, that'd be a good Christmas present. Uh, get your husband a new boat lift there. All right, we're looking at a low tide at 929 this morning and a high tide at 1133. We've got a 1.6 range and a good good breeze. So it should be a really nice day on the water on, on the bay system. So if you get a chance to get out, take advantage of it. In fact, a while ago I looked out on uh, on the street, there's a boat going down the street behind a pickup truck. I said they're going to have a good time this morning because it's going to be good fishing. Okay, the St. Joe low tide is 934 and high. It'll be right around midnight down there. Uh, we'll take our first break and be back with our special guest. We are so lucky to live in North Florida. We have some of the best fresh and saltwater fishing in the world. My biggest problem is not catching fish, but trying to decide what kind of fish I want to catch. No matter what I'm after, I always stop at Sun Jammers Water Sports first. They have just what I need, rods and reels, line, tackle, and most important, live bait. Yes, sir, we sure are lucky. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team just in time for the holidays. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of colors and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our website and click shop to bring in the holiday season. Be a member of the Panhandle Outdoors team, Florida's only live daily outdoor show. City living is simply better without glasses. The Eye Center of North Florida offers the most advanced cataract surgery using lifestyle lens implants, which allow you to see all distances glasses free. Our surgeons perform this quick and painless procedure at our accredited surgery center. When it comes to your vision, trust your local experts in surgical eye care. The Eye Center of North Florida. Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC is Panama City's exclusive full-line dealership. Built on a 45-year foundation of trust and total customer satisfaction in all departments. Including our huge pre-owned department, where we'll pay top dollar for your current automobile as a trade-in. Or we'll place your vehicle on our lot and help you sell it. At Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. Four decades, three generations, one tradition. Uh, welcome back, familiar face, Brad. Good morning, Coach. Brad Stevens here. Uh, we we're just sitting here talking about so much Christmas stuff still left to buy and so little time. Absolutely. I was sitting here doing the math the other day, you know, getting orders in for Christmas, and I was like, I call my spot. I got to have this stuff. I mean, I got, there's a one Friday and one Saturday left for Christmas, and um, I think that's right. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. you got next Friday. You got Christmas Eve well, yeah, and Saturday, Christmas, but. It's going to be on a Sunday this year. Yeah, so th but this is still, you know. The, Nobody's going to shop on Christmas Eve unless it's a husband. But we will be open till noon, just in case you are. On Christmas Eve? And on Christmas okay. Eve. We'll be there at noon. We're going to be out of there promptly at noon. 
Do you have some good stuff out there, to stocking stuffers all the way up to a main present for Christmas? Yeah, you you just need to come to one place. We can, absolutely, <laughs> we, we we can fill the biggest stock and the smallest stock, and we can we can just totally outfit your entire Christmas list for that outdoorsman in your life. Uh, um, what, do you, what do you want to start out with? Some let's start off stuff? with the big kids. The big kids. Um, oh yeah. This is I've I've tried to show rods on online before on TV. It just doesn't work well. Um, this is the um, Temple Fork Outfitters. This is um, Gary Loomis's new design. Um, this one right here is a 610 medium light. Um, this is his new tactical series. Um, we sold their signature series, his signature series last year sold extremely well. It was probably the number two selling series rod in my shop right behind Upro. Then closely behind that is your top shelf Shimano. Mm -hmm. um, this year the, um, the tactical series has definitely taken, taken the reign in my store. Um, it's super lightweight, it's durable, it's super quality. Um, you can see the real seat down here. There's just very little cork down here. Or there, there's very little thread work down here. Mm -hmm. Talking with Ernie Cabot, which is one of the, the best rod builders I've ever run across. He doesn't like thread anywhere. All the beautiful wraps around your guides, it's absolutely beautiful. And if you're wanting to go showboating, get you a nice, shiny, flashy rod. If you're wanting to catch fish, mm -hmm. get rid of all of that fancy flash on your rod. Because it, it kills your action. Um, you can feel a pinfish pecking at a gulp or an SS minnow on the end, you know, get braid, throw it out there, and um, you're going to feel it. Mm -hmm. So It's real lightweight. I had it before the show, and it was really, really lightweight. Super and lightweight. A, and a tip, we're talking about a tip of it, how? You, yeah. You, you, yeah are, see it. I don't how, think they're going to be able yeah, to see. It's so thin and all. So. They're pretty much designed for braid. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really, really narrow that your line spin as it comes off. You know, it comes off the spool in this circular motion, mm -hmm. and it just, you know, Choking's not the right word. It doesn't really choke it down, but it, mm -hmm. it chokes it down where it's basically straight when it comes out of that last guide, um, you know, which is really going to increase your distance. And uh, most importantly, it's going to eliminate most of your wind knots. And, you know, we talk about red fishing, and, and I, I, I fish with some of these top red fishermen. I always ask them, I say, what's your number one tip? And 100% of them will say, distance. They want to get distance on that cast. Yep. And it really is. And it takes a good quality rod to get distance. Absolutely. This is a 610, I think, rod that we have. Um, 7.3 is as big as they go in this. We were playing with a 7.6 and a 7.3 because I'm like, you got to build a 7.6. Nobody's going to sacrifice. You know, that three mm -hmm. inches, is, that's going to kill your distance. We can tell very, very little difference. Um, we're putting, um, you know, we got the Berkeley Nano Fill, um, which is the new, um, Berkeley's new Super Braid. Super mm -hmm. thin, super slick. It cast a country mile. It is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, got it from, I believe we have it from 8 to 12, or maybe 6 to 12, which is all they make is up to 12, and 150 and 300 yard spools. Mm -hmm. um, I'm real big on getting kids outdoors, as you are, everybody yeah. is, um, and I think the younger you start them, the better. Um, my two and a half year old sits on our back deck, throws her little rubber fish out, and reels it in, and she's so excited she catches a fish every cast. It's <laughs> unbelievable. She's just sitting there on the deck, just casting out. Um, this is actually one of her presents. Um, we're selling these in the store now. We just got them in. I know you can't see with the glare in here. This is a Barbie backpack. Um, it comes, you know, a little, little kit. It's absolutely everything you need to get a kid excited. I mean, not necessarily go fishing, but just simply get excited. Just to play around with it. And I literally, the guys in the store think I'm crazy. We have pretty much every character you want. You know, we have Dora, Diego, Princess, the cars. Look at this cars one, Coach. Hey. Instead of throwing a rubber fish, you throw a tire. <laughs> that is good. Um, the car, you know, if you got grandkids or kids, you know exactly where you're headed on this. These are some great videos of kids, but this is on cars. That, that is good. That, it, that's, that's a neat idea. You know, everyone in, this, everyone in the store is like, man, you're bringing all these kids, Roger. What are you doing? We look like Toys R Us over here. <laughs> well, you know, if we can just get one or two kids excited, you know, they're going to carry over. Um, Anytime there's a party or anything at my house, the kids are always fighting over the fishing rods. It's just, yeah. there's all these expensive toys and four wheel, you know, the little kid four wheelers and bicycles and everything. They're all fighting over a stupid rod and reel. So it's a, it's a simple idea, and I've watched mine too. I've had it in the garage, they'll sometimes get in the bow of the boat and just lay down in the bow of the boat and just toss it out in the driveway mm -hmm. and just play. And you don't give them any instructions, don't, don't tell them anything. You know, every now and then say, hey, that's, a good idea. that's a good idea. And sometimes they'll make up their own games with these rod and reels, like hitting something. Yeah, and that's a great precursor into them learning how to fish. My brother-in-law, um, we've been working on, um, so we got two of them at the house now. You know, we try to hit five-gallon buckets with exactly. them. And I don't know if it's helping our cat. It's, a, it's just fun. It's, you know, if we can't get on the water, we can stay on the back deck and literally flip to a five-gallon bucket 
with a with a tire and a car's fishing rod. There's just something simple about it. Yeah, and what what this does, a lot of us started as kids doing the kind of stuff, and then it leads to later on. I like this picture I'm about to show you. Great success with with casting, and take a look at this picture here with Bill Allen. They went out this week. Check this out. We're down at Pascola, same place that we went to uh, a couple weeks ago with that good video we had. This is Bill. He said here was some of the uh, trout we caught. This is and he he caught this. Uh, that's a nice trout there. His friend Mark Cowart, Cowart, right there. I said boat landing right there. That public boat landing right there at the end of the river road. Some nice trout. Good job, Mark. They had, and then they went, two boats went, his brother-in-law, Tyler uh, Cliff and Tyler McSpadden, that's his brother-in-law and his brother-in-law's son, his nephew, they caught a nice mess of fish right there. Good good job, uh, Bill Allen. That, that was Tuesday morning of this week, I believe. What's the day, Thursday? Well, one day recently. I think uh, today is Thursday. I don't know. It's yeah. the third Thursday. I'm here. It's the third Thursday. I, I, that's right. We know that. Okay, we're going to take a break and come back and look at a lot more stuff. When you stop by Blue Water Outriggers, you will find everything for your outdoor adventure. Stock up on all your favorite brands and shop for some of the latest outdoor gear and accessories. You can also shop online and have your orders delivered straight to your home. Our flagship store is nestled right off the Highway 98 in the Port City Shopping Center, just steps away from the Port St. John Marina. You will love our selection, our prices, and our friendly service. Harold Milling Company, rough and tough dog food. Harold Milling Company builds it. They build hog feed. They build dairy feed. They make chicken feed. They have specialty feed for rabbits. If you got a worm farm, grandmother used to have a worm farm. Look at the Harold Milling Company. You want to go down and get your, the dog's not running anymore. It's all over with. You want to get that 16% uh, and drop down from the 26% protein. You don't want over over to get fat. Harold Milling Company, you can buy it almost any feed store in the Panama City area. Panama City Beach is known as one of the top dive destinations in Florida. Divers Den offers daily dive charters that can accommodate up to 13 divers. Our boat captain is U.S. Coast Guard certified and a paddy dive instructor. We have trained professionals who offer a variety of scuba certifications. Come see us at our two locations on Thomas Drive and Tendo Parkway. Captain's Cove Marina, designed with fishermen in mind. Easy access to the best fishing along Florida's forgotten coast. Deep sea fishing, fly fishing from a kayak, cruising endless miles of bayous, bays, and the intercoastal waterway. Count on the captain's crew to work hard to make your day on the water the best ever. Captain's Cove Marina, 1617 Grouper Avenue, Port St. Joe, 850-227-3357. All right, welcome back here with Brad Stevens from Sunjammers. Let's start off with a good picture, a good email from one of our viewers, uh, actually from Lebanon, Indiana, but they're spending a the whole month in here in November at Indian Pass. Uh, this is from Wendell Riddle. This is his wife with a nice pompano. He said, hey, Winston, we made it back to, uh, after a great month in Florida, getting back to work after that little, about a whole month off is always hard. Had a great time. Uh, weather was good, but the wind, wind, and more wind. We've talked about that. We've never had a month where the wind blew so much. The fishing was not quite as good as the last year, but all the wind, it, the, the weed, weed beds made it a little hard to fish. So I've attached a picture of our prize catch of a 17-inch pompano caught by my wife off Cape Sandblast. We're already talking about next year's trip. Thanks for all your help and look forward to watching your show. That's Wendell Riddle from Lebanon, Indiana. They spend the month of November in Indian Pass and watch the show there. And he, Asked me, you know, he, he, when he gets back to Lebanon, Indiana, he watches on YouTube. So yeah, it's amazing how many people come down here. You know, they spend half their life down here. Yeah, we're, you know, we're, that, we're they just spend now. a month. But there's a lot of people they they save all year long and come down here for a month. Or you know, what we call our winter residents, your snowbirds. You know, you get stuck behind them in traffic or whatever. But yeah, they, they're driving our economy in the winter. You know, so well, exactly. And, and you know, spend a whole month down here. You're gonna be buying groceries and and, all, and I, I was in Carabel Tuesday night, and there was a. What was interesting is there's a whole group of big boats, I'm talking about 50 some foot boats, docked up at Sea Quarters Marina, like eight or nine of them. And they were staying there for weeks, you know, and, you know, buying the gas, buying the groceries and all. And it's great for the economy. And they fish. And, and they fish. And, but, you know, like Mark said, 
talking about fishing, the wind in November was was unreal. It blew every it sure, weekend. I didn't realize. Yeah, it sure you was. Know, we, we talked about it every weekend we were going to go out. The wind blew. In fact, I had two grouper trips I had with, with, on the Seminole wind. Both of them were canceled because of the wind. So you know, and that's a 56-foot boat. So you yeah. know, that was tough. Yeah. All right, what else you got? You that got some window, stuff? That window will kill. I don't have anything in All here. Right. I only had so much stuff, but... Um, well, let's talk about the big, the big stuff. Now, you... the Kayaks and all are yep. still doing good. Uh, yeah, kayak. We thought we were going to have the best kayak season ever. We thought it was going to top our July. It started off really strong because there's going to be a lot of kayaks under trees this year, mm -hmm. um, or outside in driveways or wherever. Um, but we still got plenty more of them. Um, I think a lot of people. We got a new brand coming in. It's Native Watercraft. Um, they have a Versa board. Um, stand up paddle boarding is getting really big, mm -hmm. and um, Native Watercraft has what's called the Versa board. Um, it's a stand up paddle board kayak hybrid. You can use it as a kayak, or you can stand up on it and use it as a um, as a stand up paddleboard. Oh, interesting. It's a good. I saw some, and you know, and I passed on them in years past. But you know, I decided it's time to bring them in. Um, so I know I got a handful of people waiting for those. Problem is, they may be Christmas Eve Eve being delivered. <laughs> um, they keep getting held up um, at the factory. Um, anyways, but we do have those coming. So right after the first of the year, you know, we'll have all those on display, demos available, all that kind of stuff. And also, the line we're bringing in the Redfish series. Um, it's going to be a price point quality boat again. Um, they're going to have a 10-foot boat for around that $500 range okay. that we can rig to have a really good fishing. Um, and then uh, I think it's $599, $100 more, um, a 12-foot boat that we can really, really outfit and really, you know, make a really, really nice entry-level fishing kayak for somebody. Yeah, you have, yeah, that's entry level. is so important, you know, just getting people. I was talking about fishing with these little rod and reels. <clears throat> Absolutely. Getting the kids on them. You know, we spend so much time talking about the Hobie Mirage Drive. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you're sold on it. Oh, yeah. I, we, we truly believe it's where a majority of people, not everybody, but the majority of people, um, you know, strive are going to end up with a Mirage Drive kayak mm -hmm. at some point for fishing. It's going to increase the fish you catch. You're like, well, how's a kayak help me catch more fish? Well, I can cast and hold a rod mm -hmm. versus paddling. It hands-free is so important. But we also understand everybody can't start there. Well, it's just, uh, yeah. it, it start, it's starting here, you know, so we're, and it's one mistake I've made as, as a shop owner on stocking inventories. I just sh shot for the moon, I got it, and it, you know, I kind of, now we have all these stair steps. You know, you can come in at three ninety nine with a kayak, or you can come up and spend six grand with me, and we got something that falls all the way in between. Well, exactly right. As, as a young person, I, I can remember back in college, I drove a Volkswagen in college. Now I've got a big four-wheel drive truck, and but I, you know, in college I wanted a big four-wheel drive truck, but I couldn't afford it. Same way with kayaks, you know. Yeah. I want a top-of-the-line equipment when I can get it, fishing or kayaking. But when I was young and didn't have money, I just couldn't afford it. Yeah, like I told her, you know, I'd be in a, I'd be in a Tarpon 120, which is one of our popular sail boats, or a Pescador 12, which is the same exact boat as a Tarpon 120, just two or three years older. That mm -hmm. co that company moves their molds around in their different brands. Okay. So as they update the tarpons, they slide those tarpons molds down to their Perception Sport line, which was originally in box stores. They were in your in your Dick's Academy, Sports Authority, and I yeah. fought like crazy last year to be able to get those in specialty retailers. Because mm -hmm. people would come to me, you know, there are, people always price shop us with the mm -hmm. box stores. They want to do business with us, but when there's a boat that's almost just as good, for two or three hundred dollars cheaper, I look at them. I go, it's a good boat. I can't, you know, it's yeah. it's a good well, boat. There's nothing honest. I can debunk yeah. about that. So we have them in stock now. And if I wouldn't be in the position I am, you know, having access to Mirage drives, a new one every year, I'd be in a Tarpon 120. Yeah, yeah. Or one of these new Redfish 12s. There's yeah. just no doubt about it. You know, Brad, I look back over the summer, and especially in the scallop and down at St. Joe Bay, I saw so many uh, kayaks yeah. out there, and they they were all different levels, and, and but everybody was having fun. Just they were launching there to stump hole, and they're just putting those kayaks out there, and they were pet. They were so I had some pedaling, I had some paddling, but mm -hmm. I, I I got a kick out of watching the kayaker scallop. Yep, That's, and you know, and, and the range of kayaks, um, you know, vary even within like our local angling group, the Panama City Kayak Fishing mm -hmm. Association. Everybody thinks does everybody in that club have hobies? Well, no, not every. You know, yeah. me and Linda, we kind of had it. We're both in hobies, so it's what you hear about a lot. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we have people and, you know, pelicans, and it's, we don't care what kind of kayak you're in. Um, when you come in the store needing advice, just where to go fishing, where to catch fish, what kind of tackle you need outfitting, we don't go, well, first, what kind of kayak do you have and where do you buy it? We don't care. Yeah. We just, we, we sell the sport of kayak fishing. And if we're fortunate and blessed enough for you to, for you to end up buying a boat from mm -hmm. us, that's just, honestly, it's a bonus. I know very few people believe that, but it's, well, it's not what we're out to do is to sell, I would love to sell everybody a kayak, but it's not what we set out to do.
Well, uh, you know, I, I've got the whole gamut of, of boats and all from kayaks and canoes and I, there's just something special about catching a fish out of a kayak. I, I mean, I've caught them out of big boats and little boats, but when he's sitting there on the water and he's real quiet and he can make that cast and a big old red fish comes up, that, that's cool. I've been offshore strapped in a fighting chair backing down on big fish before and I've been in six inches of water in a kayak fighting a 12 inch trout. Yeah, that's I don't, exciting. Flipping a coin, I'm going to go trout fishing every day because I get bored offshore. Yeah. It's just hours of boredom broken up by sheer seconds of excitement. I'd rather be inshore, but you give me inshore a kayak, even give me one of these little rods, any day you're going to have a smile on my face. <laughs> okay, speaking of smile on your face, tomorrow we're going to put a smile on three people's faces because we're, we're going to be giving away from Tarpon Dock Seafood three different prizes we're going to be drawing for. Talked to Maria yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon, and the first prize tomorrow is going to be a large tuna dip. The second prize will be two containers of that crab artichoke dip, and the third prize will be two pints of oysters. Mm -hmm. Now, that, we're just gonna drop out of the pickle jar, and if you haven't registered, now we'll talk about that later on, but if you haven't registered, we still got uh, another one more week of drawing, I believe. We got, how many more Fridays we got? We got two Fridays left? Two mm -hmm. Fridays left, yep. I think. So, that'll be the last two drawings of 2012. I may throw something in between, but then we're gonna, I mean, of 2011, then we're gonna start 2012 drawings, okay? And also, uh, let's take our break now and be back with some more announcements. When you think of a successful hunting season, two things come to mind. Browning and C&G Sporting Goods. Browning is the best there is. And C&G Sporting Goods is your factory direct full-line Browning dealer. C&G stocks Browning guns, camo, knives, scopes, gun safes, bows, and much more, including hunting and fishing license. Look over the new Browning BAR camo short track and X-Bolt rifles. Why pay good money for anything less than a Browning? Browning and C&G, the best there is. Home of the experts. It's going to be a good day. You're pounding through the trails in a Kubota RTV utility vehicle with a powerful diesel engine, durable hydrostatic transmission, four-wheel drive, power steering, and an 1,100-pound payload. It'll take you where you've never been before, a little place called Satisfaction. The Kubota RTV 900 with real tree camo. Every day should be this good. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soul Tractor today. The greatest investment we can all make is in the lives of our children and grandchildren. To help you invest for retirement, handle your IRA rollover, protect your family with life or long-term care insurance, call my dad for an appointment at his new office on Wilson Avenue behind Lowe's, and he'll give you a copy of his most recent book, Seven Steps to Serious Money. For free! Walter Woodrick, your serious money advisor! My name's Captain Rick Corley. I'm a SAMS accredited Marine Surveyor, NAM certified Marine Surveyor, and I am a certified Marine Investigator. Been surveying since 1969. Was taught by my father, who is the oldest longest practice Marine Surveyor in the world. We do all types of survey, commercial or pleasure. Steel, aluminum, fiberglass, wood makes no difference. Give us a call at 850-527. 5287 or visit us online. We'd appreciate your business. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the show. Let's first look, of course, at the Express Lane Fishing Game forecast for today. Our times, we're looking at 3.30 to 5.30 this morning. We're just wrapping it up, but this afternoon, let's look at 3.55 to 5.55. Brought to us by Express Lane, American owned and American operated. We talked about, let's wrap up on the uh, entrance now. We still uh, have three Fridays. We looked on, there's three Fridays left in December, believe it or not. We'll be drawing for a tarp and dock. But for next year, 2012, go and start getting, we're getting a lot of entrance already. And remember, on January the 9th, we'll be having our 1,000th live show celebration. And we're going to give away $1,000 worth of stuff on the show. We're going to try to do it in one day. If not, we'll just stretch out to two days. But, uh, but, you know, get your interest in for that as soon as you can. Okay? All this stuff piling up, you're going to need two days to get you rid of it. think so? I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, it's according to five. And I also wanted, I really wanted to do some uh, flashbacks, you know, some highlights of the thousand shows I've done. I started looking at them, and man, there are a lot of them. I could spend a whole week on that, so I don't know how to pick some good ones. And I mean, to me, they're all good. So, especially the early years when we sort of following over each other doing and Especially stuff. the days that I'm on. Yeah, yeah, we're going to see how much you've changed. In, in five years. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, uh, tomorrow, while well, I'm thinking about it, tomorrow, it, it, Friday's always, a, a lot of people watch it on Friday because I do the fishing forecast. 
But I'm going to have, a, in addition to the fishing forecast, I have a young man, Scott Kelly, has written a book. And, folks, this is a funny book. This is a, a story on, uh, it's, uh, Scott's a local guy. I ain't even lying. And it's a group of short stories, and Scott's going to be on talking about it. And I've, I've read this book uh, over the weekend. Real easy reading, real fun reading, entertaining. We'll talk about that tomorrow, okay? So what else you got for today? Um, I just want to let everybody know um, we're still having – a uh, decent live shrimp. We got plenty of good bull minnows. Um, you know, they're they're the real bull minnows, not the tiger minnows, but the, the true bull minnows, Mississippi yeah. bull minnows, or whatever you want to call them. And um, we got those, and um, we're still having crickets, shiners, crappie minnows. Um, and the quality of our crappie minnows and shiners have shot through the roof. Um, we, we put in a big tank with chillers on it, and I decided, all right, if I'm going to sell shiners, I got to get out of the out of the river made tubs with blowers yeah. on them. There, it's in a full blown tank now. Um, so the quality of our baits um, definitely skyrocketed on that. I can't, I can't express to y'all how, especially if you're beginning fishing, how important it is when you fish with live bait to get good, fresh live bait. And it, it, if you've got to go out of your way, you've got to dri drive 10 or 15 miles, um, uh, you know, you want to go do it and get live bait. Uh, it's absolutely. It, and I mean, you start thinking about all the money you put into fishing, your boat, your, your uh, car, or truck, and your time and all. I mean, if you want to get good bait, get good bait. And what blows my mind is people pull up, you know, they got the nice boat, the nice car. They're like, man, we just put $150 in fuel down the road, blah, blah, blah. And, I'm, and there's four or five of them going fishing. And I'm like, all right, how much bait do y'all want? They're like, we want two dozen. I'm like, <laughs> two dozen? You're, you're yeah. skimping on, you know, there, there's other places to skimp. And I'm like, are y'all throwing a lot of artificials? No, we, we strictly live bait fish. Yeah. They're like, well, the limit's only, only five. So, you know, I'm like... <laughs> Good luck, you know, but I, I go bait heavy, and I've gone bait heavy before I That's technically good. got quote-unquote free bait. I mean, if yeah. I'm going fishing, yeah. I personally want five or six dozen shrimp, and yeah. you better keep your hands out of my bait bucket. And especially if you're taking somebody with you, you want to have plenty for them, too. Because especially if they're new, they're going to sling yeah. more shrimp off than reach That's the end. True. And, okay, so I tell you, with, you know, Christmas holidays coming up, you go ahead and start planning now to start getting your bait and all. Absolutely. We're okay. going to be open a half a day on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th. We're going to be closed for the first time in ever, which is scaring me to death. We're going to do it the 25th through the 29th. The shop's going to be closed. We're going to open back up the 30th and the 31st okay. um, with limited staff and limited hours. We're going to be closing at 4 o'clock instead of 530. And then, obviously, we're going to be closed Sunday, which is New Year's Day, open back up January 2nd, which is Monday. With our new hours, which are going to be seven to five, we're just shaving that, okay. that thirty minutes off. Y'all go by and see Brad at Sun Jammer. We got to get out of here. Thank y'all for watching the show. You do something good today for somebody, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle on Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle on Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities, and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle on Tours.